Three, two, three, two one. one. Here we go. 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 <laughs> Woo. Okay, so this is the Central Cavern. This is your first level. Now remember, this game originally came out in 1983. That was the original version of this game on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum in the UK. It was then published in lots of different formats throughout the early 1980s. And this is the 2004 PC version. So, as you can see, I'm collecting all the objects. Now notice that the bottom right hand corner there, that's now flashing. Oops, that was a mistake. There we go. That uh, is my exit. So you have to complete. You have to pick up all the objects in each room and then enter the exit. If I die in the room, it resets. So I have to start the room from scratch. So there's no such thing as like death warping or anything like that? Nothing like that, mate. No, no. And uh, we're, we're, we're too old fashioned for that, unfortunately. We got serious game around. Oh, here. definitely. Right, so two little men at the bottom there and the one I've actually got on the screen. So I've got three lives. If I run out of lives, that's it, game over. So hopefully that will not happen today. Uh, it, it's a possibility, being honest, but fingers crossed it won't. Uh, I, I really enjoy the um, air going down and the finishing animation. I, I enjoy that as well. I have to say I actually prefer it on the original version. Uh, it, the whole screen goes blue and it's got quite a high-pitched whine to it. It's, it's, uh, I always quite appreciated it when I first played this game when I was little. Because this is a game that I played in my childhood and never completed. And uh, it is a very tricky game. It looks a bit easy, maybe, but it, it really isn't. Uh, now, one thing I do want to mention while I was on the topic of death, let's hope it doesn't happen, but every death I, uh, I happen here, every time I screw it up, I'm going to donate $5 to the charity. Uh, if, for whatever reason, I complete the game without dying, I'll donate $25 to the charity. Okay, so if everybody could match that... Uh, that would be brilliant. Okay, let's thank you very much. And if anybody can match it, so you know, and I will also say right now, I'm not going to die deliberately, even though that would be money for the charity. Toilets! Eugene's Lair is level five. You don't want to land in the toilet, it's very, very bad for the health. Yes, I wouldn't recommend it. Definitely not. Right, now this is a tricky little bit here. I've got to jump over, and I've also got to avoid landing in the toilet. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's... As you can see, this, this game is a little surreal, shall we say. And I always like to mention that the chap who made it was 17 years old in the 1980s when he made it. And I... No disrespect to him, but I'm pretty certain he must have been on some sort of illicit substance when creating this game. Because it was a... Uh, it, it has some, some interesting things in it, shall we say. Like... Toilets that are flapping at you. Well, toilets are flapping at you. Yeah, I always used to call them the clapping toilets when I was little. Uh, and I, yeah, they, they stand out, definitely. It's right. also some advanced plumbing. No, <laughs> notice that this this uh, guy was coming down to block the exit there. Now, see if you can get the theme of this level. Most of these levels have got like a little sort of theme to them. Most of them are 80s references. So did we get this one? Yeah, I can hear somebody saying uh, it in the background. Yeah, Miss Pac-Man. We've got a bit of Pac-Man here, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, no, they're not M&M's, they're Pac-Man. Ah, uh, Skittles. Uh, Skittles? No, no, this was this was probably pre-Skittles, I would imagine. Uh, right, okay, I'm just trying to wee bit concentrate here. Yeah, this is a relatively straightforward level. The difficulty curve in this game, by the way, is a bit bizarre. Uh, the first level is actually one of the harder ones, and then levels 2, 3, 4 are easy, Eugene's Lair's hard, and then 6 and 7 are easy, and 8 is really hard. So, this is level 7, which is the VAT. What do we have here? Uh, Creature-wise, what do we think these are? Uh, those look like kangaroos. I would say they're kangaroos, yeah. That's what I always thought. I've had rats for these as well, but, uh, but kangaroos. They're, they're bouncing. They're bouncing, they're kangaroos. It looks yeah. like they have something in their pouch as I well. I would say, all right, okay. I never looked that closely, to be honest. Right, let's just uh, concentrate on this. This is all collapsing floor. Uh, the yellow objects obviously kill me, so I've just got to be a little careful on this one here. Uh, this is a relatively easy level, but I've still got to be a bit careful. This is a game that will bite you. If you do not respect it, if you do not uh, do it right, it will bite you. Uh, because it really, you must respect the game, yes. This is most certainly the diff one of the difficult levels. Where does this come from? I'm sure we can recognise him. Minor Willy meets the co uh, Kong Beast. Yeah, and what do the items look like? Uh. Bananas, yes! They are indeed. Oh, banana. Uh, and I have to say, I do like this screen, but it is a difficult one. When I was little, it was one that did cause me a lot of issues. And even now and again, like I said, it can bite. Oh. Any of these screens at any time. Sorry, 
Trico. I was going to say, and also the things that are spinning around, those obviously look like barrels. They are. They're the barrels from uh, Donkey Kong, yes. Now, this little bit here is a safety strap. I don't have to do this, but the reason I'm doing it, I get to drop Kong Beast on his head here. There he goes. And that gives me a lot of extra points, and it's a safety strap, because every 10,000 points gives me an extra life. You'll notice I've already gained one now. It was that multicoloured flashing you saw. And that basically means I've got an extra life now. And the more the merrier, because I'm probably going to need them. So that's why I go for that safety strat. Uh, now this is the wacky Amoebatrons. Uh, I'm not going to suggest what those trolleys look like. Uh, I was at BSG and somebody came up with a very creative name for them. But I'm not going to repeat it. Uh, but no, it's it's a very interesting... Uh, this is a relatively straightforward level compared to some of them. This is level 9, so we're not quite halfway through yet. Okay. Uh, this is level 9 of the game. Do some of the levels take longer later on? And not what? really. They're all roughly about the same sort of length, uh, I would say. I mean, some of them are more easier than others. Ooh, that's a bit close. Now, I've got to wait for a cycle here. I've got to wait for this to, to line up properly, because if I don't, then I run into problems. And I think I was a wee bit out of cycle there, never mind. It doesn't matter, we got yes, it. Yeah, it's I, was, all good. I was out of cycle, but it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, but like I say, this game is pretty much, there's a lot of pixel perfect jumps required later on. And has anybody identified the music, by the way? Does anybody know what the music is? Yes. yes. Yeah, in the Hall of the Mountain King. Uh, yes? Okay. Now then, what about this level? What do we recognise on this level? Does anybody know what these things are? Oh man. <laughs> hey, what a have a look at time Have day. a look at the name. Endor, yes. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah. means these guys are? Yeah. Ewoks! Yeah, no, no Jawas, no Ewoks. But it's very nasty to be killed by an Ewok, so... I can't disagree with that. Right, much. okay. It's embarrassing to be killed by an Ewok. Right, okay, there we go. Okay, this is one of my favourite levels. Uh, and... Hopefully the audience will appreciate the significance of the items. What's the item supposed to represent? Ten cents. Ten pence piece? Oh. <laughs> We're British, you know. I know, I know. <laughs> Indubitably. No, back in the day, 10p was what you put into your into your payphone, into your telephone. So that's uh, that's what you have uh, there. Uh, yes, uh, I'm showing my age here with this game. I'm right. sorry. <laughs> no problem. I'm showing my age for this <laughs> game as well. Right. Okay. I do like this this level. Uh, this was one of the ones that really gave me a lot of problems when I was little because I would generally reach this point with very little lives, and as a result, I would die and not really be able to beat it. Uh, ooh, ooh, that was close. We're all good, though. Clutch. Oh, it's a bit clutch. Right, okay, here we go. This is a tough one now. Alrighty this is then. one of the hardest levels in the game. It is the sequel to the Kong Beast level. And this is where Pixel Perfect stuff comes in. And it is quite unpleasant. Oh, let me just see. I am going to be a wee bit quiet here just to concentrate. All right, I'll let you focus. Some of this, yep. Yeah. I've got to make my way down there. Now, what's going to happen now is you'll notice I actually jump in this exit. It doesn't take me anywhere yet, but this is tricky now, because I've got to jump exactly right to get over both of those. That's a conveyor belt, so you've got to time that perfectly. And then I've now got to jump onto that platform. Still not quite finished. This is the bit. This is the pixel perfect one. And I'm just a bit nervous of the control. There we go. Ooh, that's gonna, ooh, that's gonna be close. Ooh! Oh, that was close. That was clutch. That was clutch. Right. Okay. Down he goes. And there, yeah, down he goes in the in the in the in the drink. And I'm just going to avoid that item. Don't want to crash into him. That's very bad. Okay. All refinery. This is level 13. Uh, big old eyeball here. Uh, this is generally not too bad a level, but I've just got to be a bit careful. Uh, I've died to this guy a little few times. Ooh, yeah, a bit close. Because the collision detection in this game is actu actually really good. It is literally pixel perfect. Oh, good. So it's it's quite good. So you can cut it really, really fine. You don't want to, but you can. Uh, and it's, yeah. I'm doing okay at the moment, but I don't want to jinx myself. Oh, right. Yeah, I mean, 
I can imagine it's very much something you'd have to watch to see how far each of the enemies go, because... It's learning um, the patterns. There's some times where I thought, oh no, is it gonna... Is it gonna happen? Yeah, no. It's learning the patterns. Uh, this is the Skylab Landing Bay. The Skylab, for those who probably don't know, was a, uh, I think it was a space station in the 70s. Uh, and it was deorbited in just before this game came out. So this is the Skylab co crashing to Earth here. Uh, all right. On first look at this screen, you think, what on Earth's going on here? But again, it's a pattern. So once you memorize the pattern, there's two parts to this game, I always say, and one's memorising the pattern. This is tricky here. I've got to wait for him to collapse and then jump so that blue one doesn't hit me on the head. Nice. Right, okay, this is a actually quite an easy level. We've got to go to the bank. Yeah, we're going to the bank, but I don't like this level because it's easy enough, but some of it's quite pixel perfect, and if you screw it up, it can be a bit of a pain. It was giving me problems yesterday in practice, so I'm using some safety straps on this now just to make it a little bit easier. Because like one little overstep and you're, you're dead, so I, I, I really don't want to die. I want to get the perfect run on, on a marathon and donate $25 yeah, to the charity. Yeah, that would be absolutely amazing. Right, now we're coming into what I call the gauntlet, 16, 17, 18, 19, which is the four hardest levels in the game, basically, together. All this right, is the rather creatively named 16th cavern, uh, and it is a bit of a pain. It's not nice. Uh, it's just getting the timings on these guys. Right, okay, now what I've got to do now is watch this blue one. Uh, I'm going to wait now, I'm going to, right, I'll get it this time, this should be it now. Yeah, there we go, that's fine. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Now, this is also a little bit tricky as well. I can get away with that, I hope. Yes, there we go, and I can get away with that. It's knowing what you can get away with. Yeah. It's knowing, there, there we go, there's Pixel Perfect on the end there, look. Any more when I'd be off. Uh, right, okay. Now this next level, I'm going to need quiet time on this next one because this is horrendous. This no is problem. the one that's been giving me a lot of grief in practice. So if I'm going to die, it's going to be here. So let's just see if I can do it first time. Here we go. Got it! Whew. Okay, I was worried about that one. That one cost me five lives yesterday in practice. And I was just like, that's going to be the... If I was going to have problems, that's where it was going to be. There's a clap suitable time now, we good? Yeah, there we go, oh, we can clap for that, thank you. Okay, we've only got a few levels left. This is the Amoebatron's Revenge, I'm going to concentrate on this one as well, it can be quite tight. Uh, this is one of the harder levels in the game, as you can see. The monsters move at a very rapid pace. You've got to know your pattern. You've got to get it right. I'm jumping between the trolleys here. That's a tight jump. And then this is the really tricky jump coming up here. I've got to get this right. I've got to get my pixels right on this one because this one is close. There we go. That'll do. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Done. Okay, we're not quite free yet. We're not quite free. We've got to get over this top bit. Uh, but that is one of the harder ones. Right, we're now going to come up once I get this, assuming I don't die here. Hopefully I don't. Oh, that was close. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Right, okay, there we go, there we go. Right, this is the hardest level in the game. It's a solar power generator, and it has its own mechanic. That yellow beam drains my air. You notice I've got an air meter at the bottom of the screen. And every time it hits me, it takes some of my air off. And if I run out of air, I die. And this is pixel perfect. This jump here. And you've got to do this screen pretty much perfect. Because if you don't, you run out of air. Because of that yellow beam. If that beam wasn't there, this level would be an awful lot easier. But it ain't. It's the hardest level in the game, I would say. Right, let me go. I'm doing all right now, though. I'm, I'm feeling a lot more confident after I haven't got past the warehouse, to be honest. Right, okay. Here we go. Yeah, we're looking good now. Right, now this is a tricky jump. But I have a pattern for this. It's all about patterns, this game, and all about knowing where you're going. So this is this is pixel perfect. But what I do is I wait until the red guy touches the top, and I jump three times, and on the third time I can jump across. And it sets it up perfectly. Now, this is the tricky jump as well, because I've got to get into position here. That wasn't right. No, messed it, messed it, messed it. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can do it. This is going to be incredibly close. No, um, no, 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 I've, I've, no, 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 no. There you go. Okay, okay, that's fine. Let's go again. 
we're, we're good. We've got plenty of lives. Let's just get this again. I died on this level in a BSG run, by the way, so uh, dying there is not unexpected. But what I want to do now is not screw this up, because I'm two levels from the end, so I really, really don't want to screw it up at this point. That's why the safety strap from earlier on will come into play, by the way, because when I complete this level now, I'll get an extra life, uh, which will be useful. I shouldn't need it, but it, it will be useful. Right, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go, that's good. Right, now then, let's get this bit, let's get this bit right. And try not to screw up the blue bit again. Right, okay, so we're in a good place here. And we're going to go from one, two, three across. Ooh, that's close. Come on, got to get it this time. Nope, wrong pixel. <sighs> Blast. It just wasn't quick enough. This is looking bad. This is looking bad. Hey, this is fine. <laughs> okay, okay. We're going to be clutch here. We're going to be clutch. I'm really concentrating now. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Never mind. It'll Never be mind. Good. It'll be fun. Yeah, It'll be it's fine. fine. Okay. I knew the BSG run would be a tough act to follow. So, uh, let's just see. I've done this level perfectly three times in practice yesterday. <laughs> So to screw it up a couple of times is a bit annoying, but hey. Right, okay. Okay, it's that jump at the top that I need to get right. I need to get right on the right pixel quickly enough to be able to jump over the blue guy. Right, okay, here we go. We're gonna go, and we're gonna go one, two, and the jump here. And then we're gonna go over him. And we're gonna go up, we're gonna go up, we're gonna go over, we're gonna go there. There we go, got it. Woo! There we go, right. Woo! Final barrier. There's the extra life. There's the extra life. Now, I am going to be careful here. I did actually die to this in, in the BSG run. So, I don't want to die on here. I've got an extra life in hand now, so that's fine. But, now, music. Everybody recognise the music? <laughs> it's great music. I re it's really appropriate. Right, okay, now I'm just going to watch... Mr. Eyeball out the way here. I don't want to crash into him. That should be okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. There we go. Yeah, we go. We got it now. Now, well, don't want to speak too soon uh, because it's very, very easy to die on this game, as we've seen. Uh, so that wasn't the cleanest run on the planet, but it's it's through. Uh, I'm happy enough. So what my time's going to be like, we'll see it in a second. Uh, get through there. Okay, and up, and up, and up. Here we go, we're about to complete. That's slightly slower than BSG, but not by much. There we go! Done! Time! Nice. Woo! Congratulations, friend. Thank you very much, my friend. That was really appreciated. Thank you very much indeed. Now, was anybody keeping count? I did think we it have was like four, but I don't... Did we have four? Four? Four. Right, that's fine. I'll do $20 to the charity then. I hope everybody wouldn't mind, most people mind matching me. And thank you very much indeed uh, for giving me the opportunity to run this game. Just Big shout outs to Trichro. Just to give any warning, is there any incentive that you'd want to donate your 20 to? Or uh, do you want to have a look at I'll it? I'll have a look at that. We'll, we'll go for that. Okay. And a big thank you to everyone. So thank you very much, folks. Really appreciate it. And thank you very much uh, for letting me do this. And enjoy the rest of the marathon. Cheers. Yeah.